Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over Open Ultra League. Uh, so yeah, the new the new I was about to say the new season started. The um, uh, new rotation has started. It's Ultra League and Weather Ball Weather Cup which is um, also an Ultra League. Um, I don't have a lot of the Mon, the XL Mon 4 Weather Cup, but um, yeah, Credilly is good. And um, I think Swampert's probably pretty good. Obama Snow and Tentacruel, if you have it, those are probably some ones you definitely want to try. We'll do some Weather Cup maybe later, but I wanted to go over some Open Ultra League. Some things have changed, uh, mainly um, the Swords, the legendary um, sword Pokemon. They have gotten uh, Double Kick, so that's going to be Verizon, Terrakid, I think it's Terrakidon, Terrakidon, and a Cabalion. So I do have a Cabalion, so I decided I'm going to use that. But if you do have a Verizian, definitely do use that one as well. It gets to Leaf Blade so fast, and Leaf Blade is the strongest like DPE damage per energy move in the game. So let's go ahead and get into the games. I've sped them up. Ultra League, super bulky, and uh, let's get into it. So our team's actually going to be Mandibuzz. I believe in one of the matches I have Snarl, but I actually really like um, Air Slash, even though it's less good in this bat in this uh, position against Jellicent. But unless it has Ice Beam, it's not really going to do much to us. I think this one actually did have Ice Beam. Um, and then they dip into Umbreon, and I decide I'm going to come in Cabalion. I'm going to get so much farm. Sacred Sword's insane, uh, and the coverage with um, Stone Edge is also going to be pretty insane. Um, Umbreon, not going to be able to do anything to us. In fact, we resist its entire moveset. Um, Snarl is a dark move, resisted by fighting. Foul Play, dark, resisted by fighting. And then it has Last Resort, which is normal, which is resisted by our Steel Typing. Or it has Psychic. Um, which is actually neutral. So um, they've obviously been going foul play here, so they must have last resort as well. I want to get a little bit more farm before we go into that last matchup. I want to be able to farm this down and uh, maybe throw some stone edges at the Jellicent. Um, I think that's what I want to do. And then as I'm farming this down, or as I'm about to throw this, I, I should say, into the Jellicent, I decide, you know what, both Armpon are actually pretty good against Jellicent in general. Maybe I just throw one, weaken it, and then switch back into Mandibuzz, which is a really bad matchup for Jellicent. So they'll be prone to switch out, and we'll have at least one of the, uh, we'll have Cobalion still. And then we had Energy, so even throwing this and getting the shield is fantastic. Uh, and they come into their back mon, which is a lowland muck. A uh, pretty good safe swap, at least it used to be back in the day. Uh, probably still is. Let me get my hat straight here. Only reason I have the hat on is the hair's a mess. But um, yeah, we just want to do as much damage as possible. I'm not going to shield anything. We're going to have Cabalion against this. We still have energy for a stone edge, but uh, Sacred Sword is neutral and is really good damage. So I'm just going to go for an attempted two Sacred Swords. We won't shield Cabalion either at this point. Um, we want to have Trevenant in the back with shields because that Shadow Ball still possibly looming. Even the Ice Beam is super effective. So just going to let this go. Um, probably could have kept it, but really no reason to. It ends up living anyways. We resist uh, all the poison moves and the dark moves. So technically, yeah, we resist everything Muck does, and we're doing... Uh, neutral damage back to it with sacred sword and um double kick is that the name of it let me know if i got it right or not so again um air slash not as good against uh, that mon but uh we actually fully counter greed in as well so an another mon where the entire moveset is just fully uh fully negated here um it either has tackle or bullet seed both resisted as its fast moves and then um, Body Slam and Crunch. Maybe you just go for the crunches to try to get the um, the debuffs here. But we're going to end up coming out of this matchup with a ton of energy. I just want to farm this all the way down. It is super bulky, though. Um, definitely Greedent is another mod I want to try out. Um, with Tackle, I think that'll be in the next one. I'm, I'm going to try out Talonflame, Scrafty, and Greedent, our original team from way back when. But uh, with Tackle this time. Again, we're just farming down this this fat squirrel. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're going to throw probably two stone edges into this. Now we can decide to do the same thing here and keep them on, um, which we actually might end up doing. And, and if we do that, I really regret throwing the second stone edge. Um, but yeah, we get out of there. Um, it ends up being an Empoleon, which means Trevenant's going to be good against this in the back. But we're probably going to come back in with Cabalion. Um, they're going to... 
I assume go for a little more energy generation here. We don't really threaten them with the air slashes. Um, and then we want to just save our two shields for Trevenant. So, like I said, probably we'll come in Cobalion, let Cobalion go down um, to the Empoleon, and then just maybe farm down with Trev, although we already got a shield, which is nice. Um, but yeah, we're going to stick to that plan and have Trev against the already below Half-Life Giratina. Oh, oh, I just had, I'm going to go for a massive farm down and one shield here. I remember that now. All right. So they're not going to get to a second drill pack. They end up coming back in with Giratina. Um, we go for the baits, but they're not really baits. We're just trying to do that little bit of damage so that the fast attacks can end up taking this out. Um, or even just the damage over time with the resisted moves will pull it lower. So they call our first bait, and then we just catch for no reason here, because we can. And uh, yeah, we'll soak up this damage, and that'll be GG. In fact, they throw again because Sacred Sword probably, I mean, it definitely KOs here, even though it's double resisted. Fast attack down, we'll fast attack down this as well, but they leave, and that's GG. All right, game three here. Mandibuzz into Talonflame. Now, this is probably, I mean, this is obviously our best matchup. So we probably are going to be forced to shield. Um, I went for the extra there. I'm actually, okay, I played these games maybe four hours ago. I'm surprised I didn't throw there. And then I uh, I totally messed this one up because I'm like, okay, it's going to be doing counter damage to our Cabalion, but we're doing super, we're doing double super effective to them. They're only doing single super effective. I really didn't think about it too much. Plus, their charge moves aren't the best either. And they actually end up going for Obstruct there, which is uh, really interesting. Um... They end up shielding too, but I have double, so unless they double shield, in which case I will give a shield back, probably. Uh, maybe we don't, and we, oh, we CMP. And they actually are running ob Obstruct Night Slash. Insane moveset. Now we have a two shield lead and switch, which obviously is going to be really good, hopefully. Um, they do end up getting that farm. But now we can just shield when they do um, anything here. We actually, if you notice there, we actually get lag um, because we should be able to do three um, air slashes before they do two incinerates. And we should get our move off first there. The, the only way we CMP is if there was some sort of one turn delay at some point in there. I didn't necessarily see it, but there's no possible way that we could... Um, CMP on that one. So then I decide to come in here and I'm just going to get the full farm down. Now we have a Trevenant at about 60% HP, but a ton of energy and a shield still. So that was obviously enough. Polyrath. This is a pretty good lead. Uh, the one tricky thing about Polyrath though, and this is a, a weird swap because if Cobalion comes in, all I can do is Stone Edge. But let me talk about Polyrath really quick. Polyrath's a tough one for my team. Even though a lot of our mod are good against Polyrath, the moveset matters a lot. So Polyrath can learn Scald. Uh, for charge moves, it can learn Scald, Ice Punch, and um, Dynamic Punch. So Ice Punch is going to be super effective against Trevenant and... I almost said Meganium. Mandibuzz. And then um, Dynamic Punch is going to be super effective against Cabalion. So really learning what the moves are for this... Um, and actually, this doesn't KO because everything's so thick in Ultra League. Uh, your games are going to go long. Uh, learning what the moveset is for... Um, this doesn't KO. For Polyrath is going to be the key to this game. So I need to figure out what it has. And I need to figure out whether or not I need to keep this Cabalion. So our switch wasn't up, so I just had to throw this. And then I'm probably going to switch back into the Mandibuzz. Because both Armand beat this in the back. And Ice Punch isn't as great against... Uh, Mandibuzz as it is against um, Trevenant because Mandibuzz is so freaking bulky. It's level 50. As you can see, it doesn't even get to 2500. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this Mandibuzz is a hundo and it only goes up to 2417 unless you have it best buddied and then it'll go higher than that, but I don't. I don't do a whole bunch of best buddy stuff. So uh, I come in Cabalion here because I want to be able to throw this move and I believe they actually end up not shielding, which is really crazy. They want to save the two shields for um 
for Polyrath. I have a feeling they thought I had Jolarian Stunfisk in the back, which um, is also a really good Mon right now as well. Um, I actually saw a decent amount of Wall Rains today and played a little bit of Wall Rain myself. And we see the Scald come through here. So now we know they don't have Ice Punch because we already saw a Dynamic Punch earlier, I believe. Did we actually? Now I don't remember. <laughs> no, we did. We did. We did. Okay. So. Yeah. What was I uh, What was I saying? I already forgot. <laughs> okay. So we're definitely going to take this out here. Um, we just have to make sure not that we don't get switched on, but we um, we get there before the switch comes up. And then they're at like 1 H. Oh, they actually might be like 3 away. Actually, yeah, it was actually a lot closer than you think, but um, the this, this shield advantage in the back, um, pretty good. Oh, I remember, yeah, I was saying Wall Rain's actually really good still in Ultra League. You guys should definitely try it out if you have it. Um, really, I did see one game where... So, Talonflame is, gets a little better um, against that matchup. Oh my god, I remember this game. Uh, look at the top left corner, I'm lagging this whole entire game. And um, it's tough because I want to come in Cabalion, but the Bakmon are definitely going to be, wow, we get hyperbeamed, are definitely going to be set up to beat counter or uh, fight, fighters. So I imagine this could be, this could be like double charm. This could be um, maybe Nidoqueen Queen and Trevenant. Um, and some of those matchups are really tough for Cabalion. So I decide I'm going to let the Amanda Buzz go here. Um, maybe good, maybe bad. It's just a decision made in the moment. Um, and then I probably am not going to worry. Oh, yeah, we don't have to worry about Cross Chop because they went Hyper Beam earlier, and we do resist Hyper Beam, and they're almost always going to be running Night Slash. Um, definitely, at the very at the very least, when they go um, into... Uh, when they have Hyper Beam. So it does end up being a wall rain here in the back, and we do have an energy advantage, so we should be pretty good here. Um, I believe, uh, and I remember getting so like tilted in this game because um, I believe we actually end up lagging out, and I can't throw the double seed bomb here. Yeah. So uh, this could have probably, yeah, and you notice they get energy, and I think we don't. Thanks, Niantic. Anyways, uh, still a 4-1 is pretty good. This would have been probably a 5-0. Um, I have to just make a call here now that this is an Earthquake, but it's obviously going to be Earthquake because Trevenant is good against Cabalion in the back, and they have no reason to bait there. But still, we went 4-1. Um, I'm not going to say I can't complain because I definitely can complain. That's a pretty messed up game right there. But um, yeah, GG's to our opponents. And um, this team's pretty good. I would also love to see any Verizon teams that y'all have in chat. Let me know, or in the comments below, I should say. Um, I think Verizon's actually a really good mon too. The only thing you have to be worried about is like Talonflame. It's double weak to fire, being a grass and steel type. Sort of like Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn might be pretty good as well. Well, no, Ferrothorn's going to be really bad because of all the... Um, probably Verizon Cobalion. I didn't personally see any Verizon today, but I might try to trade for one. Wait, are there two trades this season? I don't know, but I might try to trade for one and um, just make whatever one I get. I do have like 500,000 dust, so I can afford the move. And um, yeah, I think it would be pretty good. I don't want to give you the comp yet, but I have a comp in mind for a team with... Uh, with Verizon in it. So again, thank you all so much for coming uh, and watching this uh, video. Um, and if you haven't, definitely hit the subscribe button. And let me know in the comments again if you have any Cabalion or Verizon teams that you um, want me to see or that you're doing well with. Maybe just let me know. And I'll see you in the next one.